Wanna see the thing we went and picked up today? Uh, they're shipping crates. And you can usually find, I feel like there's a lot of businesses that just give these away. And they're super useful. For me, I need some brooder boxes. Uh, they also, now it's cheap wood, um, the guy warned us, like, and the wood will definitely mold after a while, expose the elements, whatever. It's not made for that necessarily. We're going to see if there's anything we can do to, you know, just make it slightly more durable, sturdy out in the elements, because I know my mom was thinking of using some as, like, raised um, planters, and I've seen people do that before, so outdoor animal houses there's some really big ones like this one here is big enough um where if we have like baby goats sheep whatever we need to keep them um give them a shelter that's like insulated heated this would be it's, it's very big you can't see it realized i'm really close to it but it's very tall you know little cat houses i don't know <laughs> i don't know exactly what all of them are going to be used for but we were there and they had them and we had room and i we just said yes so <laughs> Right now, immediately, I think, yeah, one of these shorter ones is going to be awesome for little babies that I have. So, pretty cool. All right, so this is one of them in the house. It's much larger. <laughs> but I think it's going to be perfect. We have, yeah, chicks and emu and... Uh, what's in there? A turkey, random turkey egg someone gave us, random duck egg someone gave us. So it's just going to be all kinds of stuff. I just want to give some perspective on what life is like for Ben. He worked all day, had a ton of court things this week in general, so just tired. It's very cold out right now, and it's 8 o'clock at night. All we both probably want to be doing is having a glass of wine and having dinner, but I found this kid's playhouse. <sighs> yeah, it's not for you though. <laughs> Big wooden playhouse thing that would be great for animals. And it was pretty inexpensive, 200 bucks. Um, it's like less than an hour away, but still about an hour. Anyways, hi. Um, so now what Ben out has to do Saturday morning is go and pick this thing up for me, which means right now he's out there in the dark, in the cold, in the headlamp, loading up all of the things he's going to need. Is this fun for you? If I'm bald, this is why. There it is. It is solid. And look, an animal already loves it. I don't even know what time he got up because he didn't even wake me up. I think he left here at like 6 a.m. He got there at 7.15 and at 8 a.m. he messaged me and said on my way back. So it only took, um, I don't know, like 10 minutes it seems like to load it. So thankfully, yeah, it didn't take too long. Uh, and I mean, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. So that's awesome. Obviously, I'm going to paint it and do all that good stuff like I did to the other one. I thought this was a super awesome find. Uh, I don't know exactly what we're using it for just yet. But I'll work that out. <laughs> It'll be fine. Here is that little house. All painted. Hi, everyone. And we got lights strung up and the little solar light on front. So, right now, uh, it's just being used as a big house. I think for, I think it was like $200. That's a big, solid building. So, very happy. I've shown you guys many emu pens over the last year, over a year now. And really tried to emphasize that in order to successfully raise emus from start to finish, you do have to have all kinds of different accommodations throughout their stages. So previously we had them in a double chain link run. They're definitely too big for that now. So we have this kind of alleyway here, which worked great. Big enough they can run back and forth, really stretch their legs. 
not so big that they can be dumb, get themselves hurt. And remember when we picked up all of these tons of sets of chain link panels, we still have a ton of sets, but uh, they've been so useful for so many different things. And this is a perfect example. Emus need really tall fencing and that can be hard to kind of construct last minute. And so putting it up, I mean, this took probably less than an hour total or definitely less than an hour total. I was just having to do it kind of sporadically as I got time while baby now. I've also addressed that um, slow integration is really important. Uh, so, you know, we have the adult emus out here and this allows them access to each other through here, but they can also still get away safely because they're still not full grown even at over a year now. So I don't want to put them with the grownups yet. It was super windy all night long. And so one of my mom's chicken huts collapsed. So we are driving to her house this morning to go and help put that back up. And then do some work on her barn. And then uh, later today we have to go into town run some errands and have dinner with parents. Whoa. Mom's chicken coop got destroyed in a storm. What do you think of all this? There it is, guys. What should be a year or more of hay, maybe. Of like orchard alfalfa hay. We still have to feed ground bales, but... I'm in love with this possum. I've seen him in the barn almost every night for a long time now. He's really mm. cute. He gets along with all of my cats and I'm really conflicted because I kind of have him like trapped. Well, he trapped mm. himself in the cat feeder, cat food feeder. And it's like a rare opportunity where we can place him somewhere else, rehome him to, I don't know, down the road, whatever. And I don't know that we'll have another opportunity like this and the problem what i'm struggling with right now is that i am so attached to this possum that i have pretty much just accepted like the cat food i buy is now for the cats and the possum like i'm feeding a possum willingly but i know he also eats my eggs my chicken eggs and i don't know like is that the safest thing to have a, a not a pet possum. I'll never be able to pet this possum. But, like, realistically, is it best to just remove him from the farm and put him somewhere where possums should live? Maybe, but he's been there for so long. Anyways, I'll let you guys know what we decide to do. So this is my barn cat, feral cat <laughs> area out here that I've set up. It's really cozy. Got a little heated spot. They've got all these fun cat trees. They love it, if you can't tell. Always covered in cats out here. Just realized that's not a cat. Are you enjoying the free food? Possum was in the feed bin for the cats in the barn. He seems friendly enough. Gotta find a safe place to release him. Just climb the tree. He's playing dead. He's not. Yes, he is. He won't climb a tree right now. He's too scared. Um, so if we've decided to keep them as unofficial barn guests, I would just put him back in there. Uh-uh. Okay, well then, are we keeping them or not? Because if you put him in this tree, he's going to be back in the barn in a minute. If we're going to get rid of him, we need to move him further down the road where he can't maybe find his way back. They live under the barn and they come out every night. He's not going to bite you. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly where they hide. And the cats don't mind them. There. Here you go. It's okay, baby. I'm sorry you got trapped in a okay. feeder all day. You're okay. You're okay. There you go. 
That's where they right. hang out. All right, we're good. Okay, I gotta buy more cat food now because we're also feeding possums. Definitely, if you have a farm and you have possums, you should pick them up and you should take them somewhere else. I mean, don't, don't physically pick them up. Maybe call a professional, I don't know. But you should relocate them.